Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square and I'm with Simon Fitzgerald and Alex Stinton and in this video we're going to talk about Dragon Quest Builders, which I didn't play so I'm going to hand over to you guys. Uh, yeah, we checked it out. Um, for me it was a chance to get a survival game that had a bit of direction to it. You know, I'm, I'm old enough to not get Minecraft and the other bits where you, yeah. you have to find your own direction. So uh, I thought I'd check out the Dragon Quest Builders. I heard some, it had a bit of a sense of humour and gave you a bit of direction and that's certainly what I found in the demo. Uh, you know, you start from the kind of beginning of the game and kind of work through a bit of tutorial. Uh, where obviously you getting materials and crafting things from blocks if you tend to, but what really stuck out for me was the sense of humor this game had. Uh, apparently in the world, everyone's forgotten how to build anything, <laughs> and you are the only person imaginative called Bildrick, though I'm not sure if that's because someone with a good sense of humour put that in on the demo, or that's what it's called in the full game. I think that's his real name. Because that, that is fantastic if it is. <laughs> uh, and it just pokes fun a lot of the concept that people are going, like, amazed that you can put these two things together to make something else that they've all forgotten. <laughs> uh, and like, you know, you're guided by this disembodied voice and it kind of uh, riffs on the, uh, the uh, absurdity of listening to a voice in your head telling you what to do. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed it from that perspective. It seemed to provide a bit of direction in terms of that sort of game. Yeah. It feels a bit, a bit more to me than yeah. the directionless, directionless aspects of stuff like you know, Seven Days to Die. And, uh, no, I mean, Minecraft. I'm the same. Like, I like Minecraft, but I don't play it because I have no purpose. There's, there's no purpose to it for me. So did you get a I'm, feel... I'm the complete opposite. So you're the opposite. I, so, so I just did... ignore all the quests, so I run off and do whatever I like. But did, okay, uh, so that's a good leap off. But did, did it feel fun to you in terms of just building? It, it felt enjoyable just running off, being able to build whatever I like. I would, uh, as it was just the start of the game, I only had, really had dirt, so yeah. I couldn't build much out of dirt. But <laughs> uh, I managed to run around, find some trees uh, and twigs to pick up, and there were berries and stuff to forage for. There were lots of different enemies to go yeah. and fight. There were slimes and yeah. Birds and yep. uh, creatures. I mean, it seems yeah. to have the aspect where you've got to feed yourself as well, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, whether it be that, that, that upkeep, kind of the key pillar of those games, the upkeep of your own character, yeah. they will come in quite heavily in the course of the game. I don't know, but yeah. they definitely look promising in terms of. I the, noticed that the NPCs had a lot, lot more to do with the game. So, like, you would have to build a room and then put certain objects in that room, and then the NPCs would automatically go around and uh, craft stuff for you. Yeah. yeah. There was like a torch so and two could, beds made a yeah. house sort of thing yeah, and then they yeah. recognised it as a house and went and used it as such. So yeah. it seemed like it was uh, at least doing something interesting in that genre that you don't tend to see too often. Yeah, um, and is this something that you're thinking of picking up, Simon? Uh, I probably will pick up at some point. Probably not a launch, right? But, uh, so it's, it's as on a Minecraft sort of fan, yeah. I am, it is on the list. How about you, Alex? Character called Bildrick, I'm in from the start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's our impressions on Dragon Quest Builders. For much more on Dragon Quest Builders and other PS4 games, stay tuned to the channel and thank you so much for watching.